I just want to make a little bit of money. Well, so I can live a little bit more comfortably. But the big wigs at Wall Street said, No, Mike Yannick, we don't like you. Because your trash peasants come. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mike Yadik Show, episode 36. Yes, mate, I hope that you're doing well. Listen, this is not the new intro of the podcast, even though that would be hilarious, isn't it? So, listen, I tried to explain to myself before I started this podcast what happened recently with the whole GameStop, Walmart, Wall Street, big wigs, investors type of thingy, but I couldn't do it, okay? Because I don't know anything, which is very funny because... I have a PhD in finances, I don't know if you know that, and I have a PhD in Wall Street. And you're gonna say, but Mike, hold on, listen, Wall Street, you don't get a PhD? Well, I do, okay, and it's 2021, so who cares anymore? Reality is just out there, whatever, who cares? You can do whatever the hell you want, okay? I would not try to explain what happened recently, but I have to talk about it, because the people need to know... Okay, this is a very important podcast and everybody gets here to get the information, to get some financial advice from good old Mikey boy. Okay, recently, I don't know if unless you've lived under a rock or lived under the rock, you know, Dwayne Johnson's, he has big old muscles, how you doing? I talked about him in a few uh, episodes before. And I'm gonna talk about him more in the future, okay? Because he's a cool guy, I like him, he's one of my friends, one of my mates, I call him uh, Rocky. The Johnsons, and he gives me a call every day. I digress. Look at me knowing big words. Okay, so this is the thing now. I'm I'm improving my language. I want to know all the words. Because before I used to say I don't know all the words. Well, now I want to know all the words and I'm lo- learning new stuff. Uh, so I digress. I'll be using this word a lot even though I don't quite know what it means like i don't know completely what it means i'm not quite sure i think it means something taken back okay let me just twirl my little mustache because i have a funny story about that but before that because you know i'm slowly trying to resemble one of those tycoons from the 1920s you know with the curly mustache and the crazy facial hair and all i need is one of those top hats and i'll be ready to look like the adopted eastern european son of the monopoly man Okay, he's a cool guy, I know him, his name is Timmy. Listen, so recently, some people at Reddit, apparently this is like a forum website where people exchange edgy memes, they got together and they say, listen, gentlemen, we need to buy some stock, because apparently there's like a little uh, group on Reddit called Wall Street Walmart Trades, okay, and they say we need to buy some stock, because we want to make some money. So they get got together and they chose a stock called GameStop. Apparently in 2021, shops, brick and mortar shops still exist for some bizarre reason. Who the fuck goes to a store? And apparently you go in there and you buy a physical copy of a game, okay? That is very stupid. Being said that, me saying that I have six or seven physical copies of games, but that's okay because I'm a boomer. Okay, you'll be like, but Mike, you're 31, you don't even know what the boomer is. I'll say shut up, okay? <laughs> I am a boomer, I feel old, and you cannot change my mind. And I identify as a 65-year-old cabana boy. <laughs> In a speedo bikini and a six-pack, okay? Listen, I said to my girlfriend, I don't know if I should say this, but who cares? Listen, this podcast is going to be wild. I don't care anymore. Okay, listen, I got my shirt on, I got my cabana boy shirt on, so I'm going to be crazy. I said to my <laughs> to my girlfriend recently, I started growing my mustache, and I feel, I don't know why, I want to grow it more, and I want to have the handlebars and just little twirls or whatever, I'll buy mustache wax. And I said to her, I don't know why, but I, all of a sudden I got this sudden urge to get tattoos, to go to the gym. I mean, I do work out, but I want to go to the gym even more, to become all jacked, you know, to have a six-pack. You know, to remove some of my, you know, wax my chest, you know, wax my abs. And I want to buy a man thong. I don't know why. I just want to be a cabana boy. That's my dream from now on. I don't want to be in show business. I just want to be a sex object, a sex machine. Okay, I want to be sexy. And she was like, oh, please don't do that. And I was like, which part of that sentence you didn't like? You don't want me to get the six-pack abs? She said, yes, please, may I have another? And I said, they're going to be so fucking... 
how do you call it? Uh, they're gonna be so out there. They're gonna be so uh, ripped. My stomach will be so ripped and so hot that you will be baking an egg on it. And you're gonna be ba- you're gonna be frying an egg. You cannot bake egg on apps. Oh my God, Christ Almighty! You're going to be frying an egg on my apps, and you're going to be baking, frying bacon between my butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine your butt cheeks like a little toaster you put like a little slice of of uh, bacon and like in a few minutes ping, <laughs> comes off again ready to eat anyway and she said no please don't buy a thong and i said but why it's gonna be hilarious you don't want to see me in a thong and do like little strip shows and stuff oh bro i'm so funny man even in my personal private life with people i'm hilarious you know what i'm saying so i'll be like there's a reason why they pe- why people nickname me magic mike you know what i'm saying i had the i have the body and i have the name to match that nickname you know what i'm saying so if i buy a song i'll be out there boop 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 i'll be just shaking the the package you know what i'm saying she said, no, please don't. And I said, but it's going to be a man thong. It's going to be a respectable thong. You know what I'm saying? I just love saying the word thong. Okay? I don't know how the mic is picking it up, but that doesn't matter. And I said, it's not going to be one of those funny ones. You know, when they have like fucking, uh, how do you call it? Uh, an elephant. You know, like an elephant trunk. That's hilarious. Or like a giraffe or a lion or something. I don't want that. Okay? I'm a respectable man. I'm a respectable member of the community. Okay? So, apparently people went to the GameStop and they bought also AMC, which used to be a channel back in the day that created one of the greatest shows ever, by the way. Like Mad Men and... Uh, Breaking Bad and uh, what's the other one? Walking Dead. I mean, I don't watch Walking Dead because I don't like zombies. I just can't be bothered. They were too slow for me. I'm a man of action, okay? I want to be. Come on, let's do this. So, they got together. They bought this stuff, okay? And somehow the price inflated, okay? I don't know how it works. I tried to explain it. I actually recorded 20 minutes of this episode and I didn't know what the hell was I was talking about so I just stopped it because I was like somebody's gonna sue me one day you know what I'm saying because <laughs> somebody's gonna look at this and be like oh that sounds like a logical financial advice let me invest in blockbuster in my space <laughs> Mike Yannick said so let's make some money over here guy okay no don't listen to me so anyway <clears throat> so they bought all the stock, the stock went up, okay, so apparently, oh, back in 2016, let me just tell you, I was really like, you know what, I need to expand, I need to create a portfolio, you know what I'm saying, so I wanted to look into how the whole market works, and, you know, stocks, and investments, and all that stuff, and I spent like a good chunk, maybe like half a year, just learning, just watching lectures, and YouTube videos, and tutorials, I had like a whole notepad, where I was writing stuff down, and I kind of understood like the, like the basics of it, but in 2016, you did scum like me, peasants, they couldn't access the stuff that easily, you know what I'm saying, like you needed to have at least a few K, and you need to go to a broker, to like a forum company, or whatever, you cannot just walk in and be like, well, I have 10 quid, let's do this, I'm the new wolf, wolf of Wall Street, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't work like that, the puppy of Wall Street, and the uh, so I couldn't do it. So I kind of gave up because I didn't have the money. But a few years later, a lot of the applications, because apps, I don't know, in 2016, we had apps, but I don't think there was like trading apps and stuff. But now they're super popular. I get commercials all the freaking time. Because one time I just researched, I was like, oh, I need trading apps. I just Googled it. And for the next seven months, every single thing, trading this and trading that and blah, 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 right? So now even scum peasant like me can enter the market with literally 10 quid, okay? And the rich people, the rich monopoly big wigs of Wall Street, they always said to us, Oprah said it as well, don't spend your money on, on coffee, invest that money in the stock market, okay? Don't spend your that money on candy, invest in the stock market. Don't spend that money on fake boobs. Well, no, spend it on fake boobs because fake boobs are great. Let's be honest. Who are we kidding here? Everybody likes fake boobs, okay? If you don't like fake boobs that are done correctly, I mean, because unless they are like fucking freak show, then fair enough. But who doesn't like fake boobs, okay? If you don't like fake, fake boobs, get out, of, get out of here. I mean, obviously stay because I need the viewership, but when you finish with this... Go outside and breathe some fresh air. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, they bought all the stuff. Everything went up. Okay. So, all of a sudden, on these trading apps, you know, that you can go and scum like me can, uh, you know, can shop. 
all of a sudden you cannot buy GameStop anymore. Because, you know, like the price is escalating or something like that. And the big wigs, because there's like these people who, how do you call it? They like buy day traders or whatever. They buy in the morning and they sell it in a few hours or whatever, right? So this is what they do. Or they have people who buy it and they just keep it so the price can go up and then they can sell it or something. Like, how does it work? Like a guy goes in there like in a, in a bar and he's like, I'm going to buy all the alcohol in the bar, right? So he gets all the alcohol on one, like in the whole bar, right? So he puts it on his table. So now he owns it, you know, and he can go across the street or he can go outside or inside. He can be like, you want to buy a beer? Well, the beer is not two pounds anymore. It's two pounds and 15 pence or whatever, right? Or, or 50, two pound 50. So somebody buys the beer, he makes 50 pence, but he holds all of the alcohol, right? This is how I understand it, okay? So, those people, you know, they're going there on CNN, on the Fox News and the TV channels or whatever, and they're all crying, the big, the big hedge funds guys, or whatever, the big wigs, this, the big cheese, the big cahoon, fat cats, okay? You go out there, these fat cats, and they're like, meow, 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 okay? They're just like fucking doing their little whiskers or whatever. And apparently, you know, like now the peasants come, like me, people like me, I don't have any of that, by the way, I don't have any stocks, I don't even have the apps on my phone, because I'm not physically, men I'm not mentally, I think I I'm not mentally created for that type of action, and I won't be able to sleep, I'll go crazy, there was like a fake account at one point I did like a few years ago, and they give you like virtual money, and you can invest in a few stuff. And oh my god, dude, I've lost my shit. Like, I had it for two weeks. I couldn't sleep. I was nervous. I was like, oh, this thing is going down. I'm a very emotional fella, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think I'm built for that type of world, okay? I'm just built for this. Just talking nonsense into camera and people listening. So... They bought and they go over there and they're all crying and stuff. Please don't do that to us. We're just good old poor billionaires and millionaires. And we've been doing this shit. And we've been screwing you over for the last 50 years or whatever. But let's not get too deep into it. Because this is going to turn into the conspiracy hour. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want that to happen. Because the Mike Yannick show is a respectable show. That you know only the truth is spoken. Okay. So they go out there and they're crying. And there's a guy in the back with the little violin. You know what I mean? And there's like, it. they were in front of a house, okay? And th in that house, it, it's Christmas, okay? It doesn't matter, it's beginning of February, end of January, it's Christmas, okay? And there's a house behind them, and there's a family inside. And it's warm, and they have a big Christmas tree, and everybody's wearing the Christmas jumper, okay? And they all have presents, and they're all eating, and they're all getting drunk. Even the little kids, they're getting drunk as well, and everybody's fist, fist fighting or whatever. They, they're playing music, yes, they're wrestling. It's amazing, okay? Santa Claus just comes in as well just knocks on the door he brings more whiskey yes let's let's have the fun all time okay it's great there's everybody's in there okay and the and the poor billionaire hedge hedge funds manager big wig big cheese big kahuna fat cat guy whatever johnson whatever the fuck his name is <laughs> he is in front of the house Okay, because they don't want want to let him in because he's just a poor old billionaire. Okay, and those people in there, they're middle class. Okay, they don't fuck about the middle class in this country. Don't fuck about the middle class in America. They don't fuck about. Okay, they all wear sweaters and they like to be warm and they like to be inside their middle class houses. Okay, it's not a mansion, but it's not a hut. Okay, and you're not sleeping on the street, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? You don't have twelve prostitutes in your mansion either. It's just somewhere in the middle, okay? Like it should be. Balance. Life is about balance, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so. He is in front of that house. And it's snowing. Oh, it's so much snow. And it's snowing. And, you know, he's out there. He does. He has only a shirt because he's a poor old billionaire. And he cannot even afford a jacket, okay? He's there like this. Like this, you know? And he has like those gloves, you know, that miss the fingers fingerless gloves and he's just like there and he has like a little shirt or whatever like a little and and somebody you know he's like oh please you know it's just me it's poor old billionaire and the guy behind with the the violin is bigger now you know what i'm saying it's a big violin it's two guys now it's like a, it's like a mini orchestra okay behind him they have like a really sad music he's like but please be nice to us we, we just i have only seven billion in the bank you know, when I go to the fancy parties, they don't even let me in all the time. That type of stuff, okay? 
yeah, he might have 7 billion and we might think like, oh my God, that's a rich guy. But no, he's not because in his circle, he's a nobody. You know what I'm saying? He's the guy who walks around with the plate and they have the cocktail sausages on them. And he's like, do you want some more sausages? They'll be like, ha, 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 Johnson, you poor bastard. You know what I'm saying? And somebody slaps him across the face. And he's like, yes, okay, sir, may I have another? You know what I mean? And they make fun of him because he has only 7 billion. That poor little hedge fund manager or whatever, okay? So he's a nobody in that world. And he's out there and he says, I know you, Jonathan, you know, and you, Marshall, and you, Kenny, and whatever. I know that you work in Starbucks as baristas, okay? And you scrub out some money together and you bought seven stocks, shares oh, of GameStop and AMC, you know. And now you invested 150 quid and now you're going to make... 250 oh you gotta make how much like 75 i know but please you know release those shares into the wild so we can hold them and we can make a bunch of money like i'm it's just i'm over here seven billion that's barely anything okay and they're crying and your heart is breaking you know you feel so sorry for these poor poor they're rich but they're poor rich in their communities okay you know what i'm saying there's nobody in the community it's only seven billion what you gonna do with seven billion you cannot even wipe your booty hole with that money okay and you and i'm crying over there and i'm like oh poor mr johnson or whatever the hell his name is oh ho, ho, what are we gonna do okay and then i had to look that the app <clears throat> Then I had a look that the app that uh, the people was trading, you know, one of the apps was called Robinhood. And I was like, oh, what a noble cause, okay? Steal from the poor and give to the rich, okay? I love it. And it, it turns out to be exactly that, okay? Because people think, people have the misunderstanding that Robin Hood, the idea of Robin Hoods is to steal from the rich and give to the poor. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, how naive. How naive of you. No, it's never that. You steal from the poor and you give to the rich. And that's what they did, okay? Because I was watching just a podcast and they were commentating on news and somebody mentioned that. This is how I learned about this whole GameStop or whatever fiasco. I don't I don't follow anything, you know? And somebody said, oh, now we have the CEO, the big kahuna, the creator of the app Robin Hood we have here. And his name was like Vlad... Tanev or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll put a picture up. And uh, I was like, oh, Vlad Tanev. That sounds Tanev. That's a very popular Bulgarian surname. And I was like, oh, that sounds like my part of the world. And I was just listening. It's a video podcast. And then I was like, I put the video on and I was like, oh, that guy looks very suspiciously close to my, you know what I mean? Like kind of like olives. He was a bit more pale, pale skin with like dark feature, but you know, European guy. And I was like, oh, he looks suspiciously close to my fucking... <laughs> neck of the woods and the commentator he it's an american podcast and they say where do you think he's from and they one of the guys said probably romanian and i was like oh that's you know romanian that's next to bulgaria and i was like that's pretty close and then they said i just googled him and it turns out that he was a bulgarian <gasps> bro what the fuck dude the guy who invented robin hood was a bulgarian and i was like oh shit there's gonna be something dodgy I know it. I There's no way. Listen to me. I love my people. Okay. I grew up in Bulgaria. 21 years old there. It's a great country. Go and visit it. I'm very proud of the history. I'm very proud of the traditions that we have. I'm very proud of the food and everything about it. Okay. And I love my family. And I come from a huge family. And everybody's Bulgarian. And my family, we have zero diversity in my family. Let's just put it that way. Okay. <laughs> but... And I'm saying this as my heart is breaking because I do love my people. When we do business, it's going to be a long... I'm not saying that it's always going to be dodgy, but along the way, in that timeline of that business, and I'm talking about big businesses or whatever, there's going to be here and there, then it's going to be a little bit sketchy. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is. This is how it works. If you're in Bulgaria or if you're Bulgarian with Bulgarian connections and you did your business, I'm sorry. Again, I love my people. You're great. And I'm working tirelessly, okay, to become famous in the UK and to become 
probably, I don't know if there's any other famous Bulgarian in the UK, but I, especially comedian. I know that there's one more comedian, I think, Bulgarian comedian that I heard of. He was in London. I saw him. He was great. But I'm working tirelessly, okay, to become famous, very famous, and to become the first Bulgarian who is famous in show business in, in the UK. And I'll make you proud, Bulgaria. Okay, I'll make you proud. I love you. But listen, we are sketchy bastards, okay? <laughs> We're fucking shady people. Let's just put it that way. Look at me. Look how I look, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm friendly and I'm super nice guy and I'm not violent. But if you just see a picture of me, you'll be like, oh, this guy's a fucking criminal. Okay? Let's be honest here. Because it is what it is. Let's just put it that way. Okay? There's going to be something sketchy along the line. And I was like, let me do some research. Okay? I did some research and it turns out, of course, it is sketchy. <laughs> Now, everything I say, I need to say the word allegedly because I don't want to get sued and I don't want to get, you know, visits from some people. You know what I'm saying? So, allegedly, I'm not saying that the CEO is a sketchy person. I'm just saying that in that company along the line, something sketchy happened. Let's be honest. Now, listen. So, the guy, I'm when I first found out, I was very happy and very proud. Okay? I'll give you an example. I don't like to talk politics on this podcast, but the first time, I, Brazil had a Bulgarian president, not a Bulgarian president, but one of their presidents called Dilma Rousseff is actually a woman who was born in Bulgaria, uh, in, in Brazil, to Bulgarian parents. You know what I mean? And I think, or maybe she was, bo- yeah, I think, or maybe she was born in Bulgaria and when he was like, she was like two or three years, she migrated to, uh, to Brazil. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? And I found that, I found about this years ago. She was maybe like 2011 or 12. I remember, I, oh, probably I was still in Bulgaria when they first talked about her. Maybe late 2008, 2009 or something like that. And I remember when she got elected, it was a huge deal in Bulgaria. And she become became an honorary, uh, how do you call it, or, uh, honorary citizen of her little town where her parents were from and I remember she visited Bulgaria it was a massive deal you know what I mean Dilma Rousseff you know what I mean so she was like ethnically Bulgarian and we were very proud and literally one two years later or whatever she is literally she's probably the most hated president of Brazil modern day we have some viewers from Brazil I checked the statistics here and there Brazilians hate her and I remember when I met a Brazilian girl back in the day, I think it was like 2017 or 18, and we started talking, and I said, oh, uh, do you know that your president, she was still president, I think, is from Bulgarian heritage, blah, 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 and she said, oh, really? And I said, yeah, 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 and she said, oh, yeah, nobody likes her, she's really bad, and I said, to be honest with you, when she first got elected, I was so happy, because Brazil is such a massive country, and it's such a big economy, it's one of the biggest countries in the world, very important country, and I was, like, so just happy, you know what I mean, so proud, and then when she got fucking corruption, and I think a few of her ministers went to jail or whatever, and I was like, Christ almighty, I was like, fuck, dude, <laughs> If there's a Bulgarian, there's going to be something sketchy along the line. It just, it is. I don't make the rules, okay? Again, Bulgaria, I love you. But come on, <laughs> we're dodgy fuckers, okay? And the worst part is that if you call us gangster or dodgy, we don't get offended. We get fucking proud. You know what I mean? We're like, well, I worked very hard at it. You know, thank you for the recognition. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, okay? <laughs> So I was very proud when I found out that he was Bulgarian before because I stopped the the clip I didn't know what's gonna happen and then I researched him he's worth one billion and I was like wow and he was born you know in Bulgaria his parents and whatever and he moved to America when he was five so he's Bulgarian you know he has double citizenship and everything on his Wikipedia page says Bulgarian American or whatever and I was like yes I was so proud and then I played the clip and I saw that he has like a fucking thousand lawsuits now and everybody's after him and they want to bankrupt the the app or whatever and i was like oh christ because what they did and this is the robin hood motto okay rob the poor and give it to the rich so what they did these fucking guys so what they did the big wigs at wall street gave them a few calls and they said listen guy 
I think you have, listen, there's this stock over here now who keeps on growing and I think that we should not allow the peasants to buy it, only to sell it, okay? So what they did, they stopped, I don't even know if that's legal, they stopped, you cannot purchase any more of that stock. You can sell it because, you know, the, the fucking big wigs, they want it back so they can hold it, but you cannot purchase it. And I was like, that's, there's no way that's legal, you know? So they did that and now they have all these lawsuits and shit on their hands because people are like, hey, fuck you, guy, you know? And then I was so happy for literally five minutes and then I clicked on the video and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Disappointed again. <laughs> Shit, man. Yeah, so everybody's after him now and nobody knows what's gonna happen. And one of the billionaires or whatever, he he made a statement that when this is over, there's gonna be a price to pay. And that's literally how the mafia operates usually. They say crazy, wild shit like that. Because he's like, he went on the news and he said, listen, this thing will go away. Either people are going to sell out this stock because, you know, they want to make a few bucks or something will happen and there's going to be new regulations and there's going to be price to pay. And if you think that scum like me, I wouldn't say you, you know, you're great, but I'm scum peasant. And if you think that in the future scum peasants like us will be able to purchase and just to access the market, oh, ho, 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 you got another thing coming, guy, because these big wigs... They got burned on the stove, you know what I'm saying? And what they gonna do? They gonna throw away the whole fucking oven or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Where you think they're gonna be like, oh, let's try this again. No, 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 they gonna fucking, oh, they gonna play with our nipples, not in a good way. You know what I'm saying? They gonna give us some twir twirly whirlies or whatever the hell they call, like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> they're gonna adjust, they're gonna adjust the radio station on, my, on our nipples, you know what I'm saying? And nobody's gonna enjoy it. So, yes, this is it, man. And I saw that. Robin Hood apparently fucked up, allegedly, and the other apps, I think, as well, but nobody was talking about them, only the Robin Hood, because, you know, it's Bulgarian, Bulgarian, fucking hell, man, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but I just wanted to talk about it, because the whole world is talking about it, and by the time this podcast comes out, I don't even know if it's going to be relevant anymore, because things move way too fast, I was thinking to do a show where I just talk about, like, if something happens, you know, today, and just record, like, my first reaction or whatever, like, a news story, and then upload it, but things move literally so fast that I need to check on something and put the studio straight away, I wouldn't have time, you know, <sighs> but yeah, let's see what happens, guys, let's hope that we're gonna make all the money, listen, thank you so much for listening, I'll see you next week, and I had some other stuff to talk about, but I wouldn't be able to, and, you know, my girlfriend took me out on a massive, long, crazy walk, Oh, the other day, and I was very disappointed, and I was very, very bitchy the whole time, I injured myself as well, and I prepared some stuff, I have some things on my mind that I need to share with the people, and this is what I'm going to do next week, okay, and I want to talk to you about my family, how they hate my mustache, and they keep bashing it, and I have a few more, for few other stories to talk about, okay, ladies and gentlemen, hope that you enjoy your, uh, your Wednesday or whenever you're watching this, have a nice day, have a nice week, and I'll see you next time, next week, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that bullshit, bye! Dun 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 dun